cool idea, but not necessary, especially when you're probably in and out of that fridge quite regularly during the day. G'day and welcome to Adventure Reviews on Every Road Adventures. I'm Nathan and on today's episode I'm going to review this. My trusty old Dometic Waco CFX 75 Dual Zone. So I had a few important uh, measurements and requirements that I needed. One, it had to have fridge and freezer space. It had to be big enough for a family of four to be able to live off sufficiently. But it also had to fit in the allocated space in the U because we weren't taking a camper trailer or caravan. We were tenting it and just all in the own unit. So a little bit of background behind my choice of the Waco. A couple of years ago, family and I and a heap of mates and friends and family are gonna head up to Cape York uh, and visit the tip of Australia. And we did so. We were planning on being gone for six weeks. So we needed a fridge to be able to suffice a family of four for that time. So retailing for about $1,500 at the time, we purchased it and at this stage I can't say that I regret my decision however there's a few things on here that I don't use will not use and are plain old gimmicks so the Dometic range of CFX 75 dual zones are 12 volt and mains power mains and 12 volt. They do not come with the Anderson plug connection like I've got here. I purchased a separate lead and modified it as I didn't want a cigarette style connection running the fridge whilst we're bouncing over corrugations up north. So I modified a cable to fit an Anderson plug so that it have a secure and constant connection and would not fall out. So what are some of the things that I don't like about the Waco? Well, there is a Wi-Fi gimmick in this. Now, the Wi-Fi allows you to remotely control the fridge. You can adjust the temperatures without actually touching and adjusting the fridge itself all done by the Wi-Fi on your phone. Really cool in principle. However, what I found during our travels was the Wi-Fi signal kept interrupting everyone else in our convoy. So the Wi-Fi would pop up on their phones and they'd be constantly telling it no. Not little, but it was enough to make me turn it off when you have people going, that bloody fridge. So, a cool idea, but not necessary, especially when you're probably in and out of that fridge quite regularly during the day. You know, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, beer after beer, depending on what you're using it for. Something else that I didn't really like about the Waco, although it didn't really bother us too much whilst we were on the trip because we were moving fairly regularly, is the compressor and it runs regularly. It's quite often running and if you're parked up for a couple of days, especially if it's a little bit warmer, then you want some really good solar inputs to be able to maintain the battery power, otherwise you'll run out of battery power. This happened to us up in the Lakefield National Park at the Cal Power Crossing, where we stayed for two nights, three days. It was quite warm. We had our solar blankets out, running the whole time. However, it just was not enough solar input to be able to counteract how often 
the actual motor was running on this fridge. So if you were to stay for parked up for extended periods of time, you want some really strong solar inputs to maintain the battery power and reserves to power up this bad boy. So what do I like about this fridge? It's size. There is heaps of internal storage in this fridge. Enough for plenty of beer, plenty of food. If you're going away for extended periods, you can have one compartment as a fridge, one compartment as a freezer. And I really enjoy the versatility of that fridge for our longer trip. I also like the low line. It's a big fridge, but it's not super high. So actually, it sits quite nicely. And you can still fit you know, big bottles of cordial, soft drink, milk, more than enough beer in there, um, and heaps of food all at once. Before I do show you inside the fridge, I just wanted to talk about these top lifting doors. They open up quite well, gives you great access, but one of the cool things about them is you can actually adjust that and, and change the side that they open up to. So if you wanted them to open up from the other side, you can then change the hardware around so that you can open it up from this side. In here, we have the smaller of our compartments. In this compartment, is the one that I use my freezer down in there. We stockpile that. And then on top of there, we had, I guess you could call it our dairy compartment where we had our salads, our cheeses, our margarines, and stuff like that. Stuff that didn't have to be too cold because the majority of the temperature was absorbed by the frozen stuff and it kept it really frozen. It was awesome in that aspect. Popping over into this, the larger of the two compartments, there's a divider, which you can remove quite simply. This is where we had all of our beer, our soft drink and milks, fruits, veggies, breads, you name it. We filled this compartment up chock-a-block. The blue light display here is really easy to read. Uh, and actually at night time, it shines really bright. So it makes even nighttime use of this fridge, even if you're trying to keep it dark because if the kids are asleep or something, really easy to use and easy to read. Fully adjustable by here. You can turn one compartment off, so you can only have the one compartment running or you can have both. You can run one as a freezer and adjust that temperature individually. Uh, you can have it quite high and quite low. Quite a lot of flexibility with just this simple little control panel right here. And I really like that. So overall, am I happy with the Waco? The answer is yes. It's been a good fridge over the last two years of use, which has been constant use handled corrugations perfectly, uh, handled different weathers. Um, if you are parked up for too long, it will flatten the battery, even if you've got solar connected, unless you've got a strong solar current coming in and charging the battery. I love the storage space in it. The height, internal height, allows you to put a, very, a number of different uh, size bottles in there. I haven't found one that doesn't fit yet. I love the versatility that you can actually have a freezer section. I'd love to know your thoughts on this review. Even though the fridge is a couple of years old, it is still a great fridge. And by now you'd probably be able to pick one up second hand a hell of a lot cheaper than what they are brand new. So hit me up on your thoughts. Do you still use the old Esky and Ice, or are you now using a 12 volt fridge freezer? Let me know. If you've been enjoying all of our content so far, then 
And don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below.